Okay, well, these plants have very poor vigor, and this one's recently collapsed. These leaves should all be touching each other. So this is in a part of the field that has not been fumigated. And um, here you see we got a drip line, so we got two drip lines here. So I'm just going to dig up this plant. Uh, not much of a root system there, you see no roots coming out there. So the roots just did not develop on these plants. See, the roots really did not grow out of here. And yeah, these roots, very dark brown. And when I put my, with my fingernail, they're sloughing off. There's no integrity to those roots. So they feel moist and soft. Here's, here's another main root there, but it's all brown. As I, as I break it off, it's all brown. There's no health to that root. So this is pretty classic for black root rot. There might be a lot of Pythium. Could be a lot of Rhizoctonia frigari. Rhizoctonia, we know there's two main AG groups, but it looks like there's a lot of damage done here. So we dug up this plant, and you can see that most of the roots are quite discolored. Brown, some black. There's a few roots here that are still white and let me just pull that root but look at that that root has almost no secondary or tertiary roots so it's not a very fibrous root looks like some of these roots were damaged early you can see a black lesion here and if I if I just cut through those some of those roots yeah there's no health in those roots as I do this they feel a bit mushy and soft they're, they're heavily damaged. So this is mostly Pythium and Rhizoctonia frigaria.